then was the year of Tangled and Inception and Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, Black Swan and Piranha 3D. But it was also the year of some really good films. You know, are uh, my honorable mentions for 2010. my top three movies for 2010. I know Iron Man 2 for a lot of people is not necessarily their favorite MCU movie. Um, for me that would fall under Iron Man 3. I'm not a big fan of it. I'll watch it but I'm not a big fan of it. Iron Man 2 though had more heart, I felt like. Like we get to find out more about Tony and his father's dynamic. Him trying to be an adult and have a relationship with Pepper. Him trying to figure out his own mortality because he thought he, he was in fact dying. So Iron Man 2 is good for me. See that, did you? That's right, we're superheroes. You love us. Kick Ass is one of those movies that I just absolutely love. It's it, it, it spoke to me as someone who always does some random version of cosplay. The idea, the reality of going out to fight crime without superpowers. You don't have superpowers. With no powers comes no responsibility. And I love that. I didn't even, to be honest with you, know that it was a comic book, that it was a, a graphic novel at the time. And uh, I just loved it for what it was. And that was just great. Scott Pilgrim versus the world. Maybe next time we don't date the girl with 11 evil ex-boyfriends. Okay. Oh, that's not that bad. If ever there was a movie that didn't get as much love box office wise as it should have, it's Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. To this day, I will still sit down and watch it. The soundtrack for that was fantastic. It was a gaming movie. It was a superhero movie. It was a musician movie. It was just so... It was like all the good stuff that you want from pop culture just exploding in one film with text and subtext and subtext. It has so much nice layers to it that I just had to be on my top three for 2010.